What is going on everybody? My name is Pete and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive vlogs coming at you once again with another brand new video. I hope you're all doing fantastic out there. So ladies and gentlemen of the Jerry, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And with that being said, if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And leave a comment right now saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And let's... Jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style. So this right here comes from our buddy, William Prince. And uh, he says this, he goes, hey Pete, yup, William Prince again. Evidently, there is a glitch in the spark system that is getting drivers deactivated. The automated system is sending out a text, see screenshot, that is claiming that stores are reporting a driver is not picking up uh, and delivering an order accepted, which is against their terms of service for obvious reasons and can get you deactivated. I received three of these messages and was deactivated. And let me just pause for a second. I'm sorry that happened to you, William. I seriously hope you can get back on. However, when I called support, they said my account was good and I was reactivated immediately. See, that's, that's really strange. You sure about that? I don't know if this is happening in every market, but um, let's see. But the support person told me they have a lot. They have had a lot of drivers call in about this. So let your subscribers know it's a glitch. And yes, you can use my name. Thanks a bunch, Pete William Prince. So let me just go over the screenshot here, uh, just so you guys can see that it's all legitimate. There you go. If you got to pause the video to read it, but I'm going to go over it right now. That's pretty cool. A motorcycle with a sidecar and a dog in it. Uh, a store reported that you did not pick up and deliver an order that you accepted in the Spark Driver app. Service level standards require accepted orders to be completed and delivered on time. You may refer to the Spark Driver terms of service, uh, terms of use in the accounts tab of your Spark Driver app for details. And you may view FAQs at drive4spark.walmart.com. So what do we think about this? Well. Glitches can happen. They clearly do. But what I want to know is how the hell is it possible? I mean, obviously it is. But why is it that it happens as often as it does across all these apps, especially uh, apps like DoorDash? We all know. Okay. But now it seems Spark is jumping on the bandwagon too, unintentionally, of course. But why do you think, why do you think that these glitches happen where it shows that drivers didn't drop off an order, so now they're eligible, or you know, now they're up for deactivation, et cetera, et cetera. You know, it just seems like it's it it just things just keep getting worse with these apps, you know, like like Dino from saying it like it is always says, like, hey, you know, every year it gets worse. It gets worse. And this next year is gonna be worse than the year before. You know, I mean, he's not wrong, man, because like I said, when I started four years ago in 2017, things like this just weren't happening. Now I get it. I understand. There's more drivers out there. The gig economy is growing every single year. Uh, the pandemic made it so that so many more uh, people lost their jobs, uh, their tip, their regular jobs, and they went to the gig economy to get fast money. I get it. Makes sense. You know, but stuff like this, it literally screws people up with their living. A glitch, especially, you know, where it affects somebody making money. Because typically when you're working a W-2 job, unless there's some issue in payroll, you still get paid. You know what I mean? Like there's not like necessarily a glitch in the system. You know, sure, you, you know, maybe something might get backed up uh, with direct deposit or your bank or something on the, the payroll end, but they usually correct it right away. But these situations just seem to keep piling up and piling up and piling up and, and it's just very strange. So drivers, let me know in the chat, let me know in the comments section what you guys think about all of this because this is some really, some, some really ridiculous stuff that's going on here, I gotta say. So yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts down below. I'm curious to hear what you gotta say about all of this. Um, so yeah, crazy, man. This is absolutely nuts. 
Um, if you guys ever have anything you want to share with me, a question, a topic, a story, a comment, an article, whatever, email me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best place to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can reach out and message me uh, on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below. Definitely go and check that out. And anyone who signs up as a patron, I will give you guys shout outs in all my new videos, which I'm about to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kurt Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreaux, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilland, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Jenny Thomas, Candace Mitchell, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you. Really, really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty awesome stuff there, guys. Uh, so with that being said, uh, who's going to be the next patron? I don't know. Could be you. Let me know down below. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. That's right, everybody. The link is in the description down below. Click on the link, scroll down where it says Get the Free Gas app, and you'll be good to go on that, everybody. So uh, yeah, from there, what you do, it'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone you have. And then at that point, what you do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, Take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today, everybody. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, you guys know where to go. PaytoDriveStore.com is the place for you, everybody. That's right, pay to drive store for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, man. Everything's on sale. We got lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it at paytodrivestore.com. Links down below. Make sure to check it out. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for you all. Leave a comment right now saying END244, END244. Just uh, lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So uh, yeah, hit that like and uh, comment, L-I-K-E-D, like, so I know you did it. And uh, yeah, I guess that's that. All right, everybody. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you guys next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.